today we'd like to talk about and show you some of our um, inspirational videos and um, want to talk you through how it feels to um, start as a new surgeon. Before you go to the OR, it's always better to do a wet lab and uh, I uh, was fortunate enough to be uh, um, at the MTS wet lab uh, with Earthly and um, this helped me a lot um, in terms of uh, learning to, to, to deal with the microscope and uh, with the settings of the machine and everything. But the moment you start, um, it's completely different. So what you see there, this is, this is obviously fast forward and um, this is the end of the surgery and you're only freezing. And, yes, and, and what you need... Side ports, right? Side ports. Because, uh, it's only side port freezing and, and everything worked there. Because what, what you really need to do is, is um, to find out the handling, to have a depth perception. And this is the first day in the OR, first day inside the eye. Um, I'm, I'm not freezing anything there. <laughs> no, no, you're not really freezing. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a little bit of it's air. air bubble. Everything is new if you start if you start in the OR, and everything is new, and you will everything will uh, will overwhelm you. So I think it's very important. Your first day in the OR should actually not be your first day in the OR. Yeah. You should try to have most of everything that you do standardized. But once you're on the patient. Everything is new. So do do in a wet labs. We we do the winter academy in in Austria, uh, which which is a fun thing to do. Oh, there's testament folds. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. But you try to just be prepared as much as possible. Just know know the foot pedal. Know know the table. Know the draping. Know everything. Try to have done it at least uh, twenty times before you really go into the patient. And um, you've done that. But, but if you look at that, this is first day in the OR and freezing. It looks freezing. like I, I have never seen an eye before. Really, like uh, it's 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 a big difference from from this um, theoretical work that you that you have to do, and then uh, when you finally get there, we use two side ports actually, and we we operate from a, from a temporal side, a temporal tunnel. Modern cataract surgery is always from the temporal side. This um, this scientific discussion has been um, has been de dealt with um, the last twenty years. Well, what's the advantage then? Less from less in, uh, surgically induced astigmatism. Yes, that's um, that's very clear from the literature that we have. Oh, this is very nice freezing. Finally. Yeah, this asteroid, is a heavy case yeah. there. <laughs> We've got asteroid hyalosis okay. there, so it's it's hard to see. Lens already in place, but now now you're doing the you OVD. See, well, what's the problem? Also, keeping the eye in primary position in um, at the beginning. I mean, you 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 pull and tear the eye in, in all directions, and uh, you can you just cannot help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I think this is why we start from the back because if some something happens at the very end, if you if you mess something up, and it, it's it's bound to happen, so don't worry if if you have complications and you cause complications. This is a natural process of the learning curve, and it has to happen. Um, and if that happens at the end of the surgery, you won't have a, a time delay, um, and you won't cause serious effects on the patients. And you need that time inside the eye um, to to get the geometry of things programmed in your head and to have a, a depth perception of the microscope and everything. Do not expect to go well, because it will not go well. Everyone will run into challenges. If you do the side port management like, like an ace, um, you will run into problems, and, and that's very normal, so don't worry about that. 